how to prepare for hill climb season. So I assume that, you know, most people have done a decent amount of racing before hill climb season, maybe you haven't, but, you know, you've been riding at least. So generally, like, for me, unfortunately, I'm training these hard to see on a macro scale, but you can see, you know, I've done decent hours, um, my fitness is pretty good. So generally, like, I have a bit of a break, normally because I'm going on holiday or something like that. So you can see here, I had about a three-week break. I did a little bit of riding, but nothing nothing serious. Um, so my fitness has gone down significantly. Um, and I think for me, the hill climbs, like, it's sort of a bonus addition to the season. Like, you know, generally, obviously, this year's a complete exception because I've had a big injury. I can't do hill climb season. I didn't road race properly. But let's say for the average person, for this season, what I was planning on doing, um, I was going to road race till August also. And then I had, like, a family holiday of, like, two weeks, which was really nice. So I was going to go on that, not really cycle, swim, you know, like do whatever, but basically have two weeks off, um, which people might be like, oh, you know, can't do that. But for me, I find that's fine. Mentally reset, two weeks, fitness loss is negligible. Um, and then, you know, the, the first week's back, as you can see this year, just do like endurance rides, you know, nothing crazy at all, like just 11 hours on the bike, like pretty much zero training, like really doesn't do much. Um, 330 TSS work is pretty pretty minimal then the next week start to do some intervals so you can see here um starting to do some one minute intervals and two minute intervals and three minute intervals um which are pretty horrible um and then again more two minute intervals and 30 15 so starting to just do some stuff and then i like to do a sort of form five ride where i do like a five hour ride or something and i go to the hills and you know i like just basically do efforts on every single climb I find that helps my fitness a lot. Um, and after that, I started to do some more rides. So this is when Tom Bell was coaching me again. So if you didn't know, I had him coach me for a decent amount last year, but some of it I did on my own. And this year, I've decided to coach myself because I don't really have enough money, but I sort of followed roughly what he does. Then you can see here, I started to do some efforts for 90 second intervals, some fast rides, which again, people are probably gonna get triggered about, but I can do another video on that, about why fast rides are good, but there's a reason why you do them and it's not for weight loss or anything else. Um, but the main way to get better at hill climbs is to do hill climbs. So you can see here I had two hill climbs, unclipped on that one, got ninth in that one, was like 400 watts or something for four minutes, so it's okay. Um, again, more intervals, more intervals. Generally, like, so nationals was like a two minute climb, so 90 second intervals is roughly going to be the similar intensity to you're going to do in a hill climb for two and a half minutes. So 90 seconds, I was doing 430 to 450 watts for 90 seconds, then rest. So you can sort of see what the plan was um, 90 seconds and then two minutes off, 90 seconds, two minutes off. Um, and that was sort of around 4.30 to 4.50. And then in the final hill climb, the Nationals, I did 4.80 for about three minutes. So that's around eight watts per kilo. Um, so it's not too bad, but, but you know, like, it's still not unbelievable. And then it's more 30.15s, and I just love 30.15s. They are unbelievable. Um, so anyway, last year I also had university, but obviously, you know, as a keen lad, <laughs> freshest week is uh, full of training. So again, six-minute intervals, they help. Um, with some surges and again you can see six, more six minute intervals and all the rest of it so yeah it was all good and another hill climb the VC walkout which is a short one and um, the reason I believe that you should do hill climbs before your target event um, is because you don't replicate the intensity mentally um, in training you don't replicate the pacing you don't replicate how you're feeling on the day I mean it's important that you do hill climbs uh, and that's why I also like do my sort of like a long ride like five hour ride and just going full on every climb so you get that mental of like how to pace a climb because when you're doing it to time it's different because you know you just do it for five minutes at like 400 watts but if you if you're like i need to do i want to finish this climb as quickly as possible you're going to pace it differently you know harder on the steeper sections and all the rest of it um and mentally it's good to you know really push yourself to a limit because for some people maybe it's not an issue but for me mentally to really push myself for those short two minute climbs it, it, you know it takes practice it's not easy and you know, you'll hear the bike radar guys, they do a lot of hill climbs, they also mention that as well. Um, again, we've got more endurance rides. Endurance rides are important. People who don't think you should do endurance rides during hill climb season are deluded um, because you still need that base. And also it's a good way, if you want to lose weight, of um, keeping your calorie output um, consistent. And then sprints So the other thing on the shorter hill climbs you want to do sprints because you want to increase your type one muscle fibers. But yeah, there we go. You can see seven RC hill climb again. Okay, okay. And then you'll start to see that, you know, it takes time for me to build up form. So these were starting to go a bit better. I did 
four and a half or seven and a half watts per kilo for like four minutes still didn't get a good placing but the form was coming and then this Bucks Hill climb I unclipped it unfortunately um which is really annoying because I was going well and did pretty badly now I got a 40 second out of like 200 and something but that's pretty high competition and this one I came ninth um and did 380 watts for seven and a half minutes or something so that's pretty good but now well when I wasn't fit that was I was expecting to be that a lot and then the week after that was um was nationals so that was that was the big one you can see this week all green um this is sort of a taper week for me um and i tapered perfectly tom sorted me out very well oh tom bell is a good lad he really did sort me out because like a lot of the other hill climbs my friends would meet me and then nationals i just turned up in super super good form i did all this stuff and this was sort of like the race specific so this is like two two and a half minutes that's sort of like you know can you what are you going to do on the day it gives you a good indication i think if you do like you know a similar length interval on that week so then you can be like okay you know in training i did you know i can't remember we'll have a look at the power data um what i did in training and what i did in the, the actual hill climb but i think you know it, really, it wasn't going to be too far off because it's roughly a similar duration so for this this one i did 440 watts for two and a half minutes and then the second one, I just actually, I physically couldn't do it. Um, I was trying so hard. I did 44 seconds at 442 watts. And then I think I did, an, I had like a lot, I had to break because I just couldn't do it. And then I did another 44 seconds at like, uh, I don't know why, if you tick it, it just doesn't do it at like 430 watts or something. So you, I could tell that, you know, that was going to be roughly what I was going to set out on. Obviously, did look at my power meter, not much, not much at all. Um, but which is the file? Oh god, there's so many files here. Ah, uh, there it is. Uh, I believe this should be the file. No, no, no TSS, so that's not the file. Um, this must be the file. So two minutes fifty-four. You can see one minute power was five hundred and fifteen watts, which is my second best of twenty eighteen. So you can see I went off hard. And um, my normalizer is four seventy three. But if we look at the average power 460 watts for three minutes so it was pretty good um it, all in all but if you analyze where i did it so you can see that like you know that's a pretty good indication of what i was going to do um so if we go from the very bottom to there we'll see the average is 248 and yeah it was 470 watts so again that previous intervals gave a good indication of what i was going to achieve so for hator which is obviously a significantly longer one the intervals that I would recommend would just be obviously longer ones, still some three minute intervals, because a lot of hill climbs are shorter, but a lot of six minute intervals, a lot of 30 15s, um, and a lot of like do some 12 minute intervals maybe. But the problem is, I don't see any point doing a 12 minute interval because the intensity you're going to do. So, let's say for me, like my goal for Hator was 380 watts for 12 minutes, I can't do 380 watts for 12 minutes consistently. So, what's better in my opinion is to do three eight minute intervals at 380 watts because that's the intensity you're going to do. And then maybe you do longer efforts at slightly shorter intensity, but I don't see any point saying like, oh, I'm going to do three 12 minute intervals necessarily. Because like, if you look at this hill climb season, most of the intervals I did were shorter. Like, okay, there were some longer ones, but a lot of them were sprints, sprints and 90 second intervals. Okay, I did some three minute intervals, which my three minute intervals correlated well with my eight minute intervals, but a lot of them were, were, sp were sprints and 90 second intervals, which were shorter, but then that helped. So, yeah, for Hator, that's what I do. But if anyone wants me to do a video on exactly what I do for Hator, I can do it. Um, if we look at my fitness this year, um, it's pretty pretty abysmal, um, pretty upsetting. Uh, but, you know, that's that's how it is. We love to see it. Um, it's obviously a crash. But, I mean, I'm still in the joking thinking about doing hate for some hill climbs. But the issue I have is that my head is... I had a subdural hematoma, which is basically like bleeding inside your skull. And the issue is, is that if I go really hard, I might cause a lot of damage to my brain. So I will, I'm going to see the neurologist or neuroscientist next Wednesday, I believe it is. Um, so I'm going to ask him about hill climbs um, and see what he says, if I can, when I can go hard. Because obviously, you know, it'd be great fun to do some of the local ones. Um, obviously, my form will be horrendous. But it'll just be, you know, I like the answer, really good fun. Do hate or see what I get, because, you know... You might as well um but i predict that um he will say no because it's not serious but yeah anyway you can see my fitness is a downwards trend 
Uh, so anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you did enjoy this little video about my training and what you should do for hill climbs. Um, because let's be honest, hill climb season is a great thing in the UK, not replicated anywhere else in the world. And it's just class smashing yourself up climbs. So cheers for watching and I'll see you in the next one.